Hi guys, Rick Davis here again from LearnTVProduction.com. 4K, what the heck is it? 4K, I remember the first time I heard the phrase, I had to go running to Google to do a bit of homework. Well, 4K is the term for the latest broadcast standard that'll be entering your home, if it hasn't already. As someone who works in the video and television production business, I'm always concerned about evolving technology. First and foremost, from a business investment standpoint, if you're like me, I find nothing more frustrating than making an equipment purchase only to find the second I get back to the office, I hear it's been replaced by a newer release, or worse, a completely new standard. Well, I'm sorry to be the one to tell you, that's what 4K is going to do to some of your recent techno purchases. High def and 3D move over. There's a new gorilla in the room. 4K is the latest resolution standard that's made its way to market. Allow me to give you some of the details about exactly what 4K is. The K stands for thousand. So in other words, we're talking 4,000 as in 4,000 pixels. So let me back up a bit here to put it into perspective. When you, when you talk about your television screen resolution, we talk about pixels or little dots of information. It wasn't that long ago that all we had was standard definition television, which was presented on the screens um, that were 720 pixels wide by 480 pixels high, in North America anyway. In Europe, standard def is slightly higher at 576 pixels, which is known as PAL. Then along came high definition. And when it did, there was a fierce competition as some manufacturers first came out with 720p sets, others went for the 1080i. The P is for progressive scan, and it refers to one signal running down your screen one line after another. The I stands for interlace, meaning the image was scanned twice, with one pass on the even lines and then the second pass on the odd lines. Now it's generally accepted progressive scan will give you a sharper image, especially with quick moving objects. Now with HD signals, we talk about the vertical pixels. 720 is actually 1280 pixels wide by 720 pixels high. 1080 is accurately 1920 pixels wide by 1080 pixels high. And just to boggle your mind with a bit more numbers, consider this. With 1080 high def TV, you have over 2 million pixels of information. That's why you have such amazing clarity in the picture quality. Then we move on to 4K, which has picture resolution approximately four times the quality of 1080 HD. Now there's no single accepted 4K standard at the moment, but at the highest resolution of 4096 pixels wide by 2160 high, we're talking more than 8 million pixels. Absolutely phenomenal clarity. With every new technology, there's always a downside. The biggest cons on this latest 4K resolution are price and content availability. In Canada, prices, uh, price for the Sony 84-inch XBR 4K HD TV are still well over $20,000. But smaller models have come down drastically over the past 12 months, and I'm sure they'll continue to fall. Although the amount of content is limited at the moment, it has increased greatly over the past year as well. Many Hollywood films are now being shot with 4K cameras. Directors love it because the quality is comparable to 35mm film, and being in digital, you can check it immediately after shooting to ensure your take is good. So rest assured, there will be plenty of native 4K video choices coming soon. Well, they say some things are certain. Death and taxes. I'd like to add one more thing to that list, and that's evolving technology. And thank God for that, because I'm always looking for something to write about. And the fact that technology keeps making our lives easier. I hope you found this video to be helpful. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know if a 4K set has made it into your home yet. I'd love to hear what you think of the quality. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you'll get my latest videos with video and TV production tips. Just click on the subscribe button. Thanks a lot for watching, guys.